a group exercise instructor here at the MAC. And in this fit clip for the month of May, I'm going to introduce you how to use a bike for a cycle class, so an indoor cycling bike. All right, so first I'm going to set up the bike and show you the quick, easy steps to make it set up properly, to have a proper workout so you don't injure yourself. First, you set up your seat. And you start setting up your seat by standing next to your bike and finding the top of your iliac crest, which is your hip bone. And you're going to line it up with that hip bone. You turn it counterclockwise, pull, and lift to that set. For example, I am five foot three, so I have it at a six, just to give an idea of where you're going to be. The longer your limb, the higher it's going to need to be. The shorter the limb, the lower it's going to need to be. And make sure that when you adjust it, you close that tension back down because you don't want your bike to shake when you're on it. Then you're going to move the seat. Same kind of thing. You turn it counterclockwise and pull. I'm 5'3", like I said, so I'm on the neutral setting. There's a plus, zero, and minus. The shorter you are, the further forward it's going to be. The taller you are, the further back it's going to be. And be sure to tighten it down. Next, we're going to set up our handlebars. The higher they are, the less they work your abs. The lower they are, the more they work your abs. However, you never, ever, ever want your handlebars to be lower than your seat. So it's the same kind of setup. You turn it left or counterclockwise. Pull. And I like mine on the lowest setting because I'm short, so it's never lower than the seat. Tightening it down. And then you're going to set up the forward to back handlebar the same way that you did your seat. The taller you are, the further forward. The shorter you are, the further back. And it's hard to adjust sometimes. Tighten all the settings down. Make sure when you get your bike that you put your feet within these stirrups and tighten them down. As you can see, when I'm seated, this setting is too high for me because when my leg is down and straight, my knee is locked. You never want your knee to be locked. So you get up, get yourself off your bike, and readjust. The hip is just an indicator of how it should fit you. It's not going to be exact. And you get your bike and strap your foot in. You can tell now that I'm at a proper alignment because when my leg is straight, my knee is still engaged. You're going to sit with your head up, back straight, shoulders back, sticking out your chest. You're going to push down with your whole foot to engage the hamstring and protect your knee. And you'll be ready for your ride. Make sure that when you adjust your bike, you are always out of the saddle, meaning your feet are not in your stirrups and you are not seated on the bike. You need to be standing on the ground when you adjust your bike. Also, your foot should be in the stirrup or the pedal loosely. It should never be tight where you feel like your foot is restricted. Make sure that you're pressing down with the ball and heel of your foot, keeping it flat and your entire leg engaged. So cycle has lots of benefits for your body. It's cardiovascular, first of all. And second, when you're doing your climbs, i.e. increasing your resistance with this red knob, turning it to the right, you get to build muscle mass. You see how slowly my legs are going. This is indicative of a hill if you are riding outside and that would build your muscle mass. And then when you release it and you increase your rotations per minute or how many times your foot rotates in the bike, you're increasing your cardiovascular exercise. So you're getting two benefits from cycle. Make sure that you do a cardiovascular exercise two to three times a week. So if you usually run two to three times a week, you could incorporate cycle into, the class, into your rotation. Also, we do have a cycle class this summer, 3.30 on Thursday.